Hey everybody! Happy Gamer here with his promised video on 40k 7th edition overview. In a word, if you're looking for a video that's going to talk to you about the rules of 7th edition versus 6th edition, you're going to be disappointed. So just stop now and go watch one of the hundred other videos doing that. I am not a guy who will hit there reading out a book telling you how much the world sucks. I will tell you what I think of the game. This is the most polished GW product I have ever read. I mean, it's really quite amazing. And I'm talking about, well, you know what? I'm setting the bar a little low because I bought Rogue Trader and Compendium and, you know, the codexes and from, from like 20 years ago. And those books were of such low quality. You're, you're lucky you didn't lose a page uh, before leaving the store with it. That's why you can't really find too many of them now. I don't think any of them really could survive this long. <clears throat> this is a completely different games workshop. It's like an alternate dimension games workshop. These rules make sense. They're clear. They're concise. There's an index. There's a table of contents. Yes, there was a time when GW did not give you those. It's polished. I like that in a product. Now, let's go on to gameplay. I've played about 15, 16 games. I've tried every single variety that I could think of. Uh, every single army that I could lay a hand on and and against even ones that I <laughs> I never even played before um, and and my impression of the gameplay is it's smooth uh, there 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 maybe because the game is new there was less arguing and more just actually trying to play the game but that that could be because people just uh, don't even know the rules yet too much, so 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 you don't have anything to argue about. Um, the biggest thing I noticed in the game is that this is the first edition of 40k that has flyers and fortifications built into it from the beginning. Uh, I mean, really seamlessly went into it. I mean, obviously, when this was written, it was written with those units uh, in the game. And it was also written with a uh, psychic unit playing the same role as it plays in Fantasy Battle. That's really what you're going to find. The game feels more like Fantasy Battle to me now, a science fiction Fantasy Battle. And, and that may have been what 40K was supposed to be from the very beginning, except for except for RT, which was an RPG. But that's really what it is. And I think that's really what they're finally, you know, after 25 years, finally figuring out that they should have done. Um, and that is what makes this a good product. I'm going to go into other videos, which are going to go into different types of the gameplay. I'm going to talk about the assault. I'm going to talk about shooting. I'm going to talk about the psychic phase. I'm going to talk about army selection. I'm going to talk about flyers. Very, uh, uh, which are very, very, very nice now, and I'm definitely recalculating my army lists for flyers. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm I'm focusing on trying to make a flyer-based uh, Tyranid army because they're really cool. They're really, really cool. They are a gameplay all to themselves. <clears throat> And that's my brief overview of this, a kind of introduction of what's going to come. I like it. Now, there are, there are some people who just hate change, no matter what, you know? So they're going to say everything sucks. And you, for those smeg hoods, you know, your life must be really sad. But uh, this is cool. It's, it, it's a polished game. It's a game that uses more tactics and strategy than any other 40K that I've played. It's a game that uh, you, you can really design it where now you can either have large armies where you play it with a traditional force organization chart or you can just play with literally grabbing a, a handful of figures out of a box, you, you know, and, and do the unbound 
rules, which is fantastic. <clears throat> the middle game is gone, and I would say right now 40k is more in the has been growing. But it, the middle game, where you just have a few models, not large, not small, that's kind of that that really is kind of gone. You're going to have uh, apocalypse and massive battles, or you're going to have the small unbound battles. But this, the middle game of 40k, I think is is what's really changed that's that's what's really going to be a, a thing of the past if you if you like 40 i mean seventh edition and and going on i also think codexes are a thing of the past uh from looking at this you're going to see a lot more data slates and products like that where you can have ongoing updates instead of just these fixed codexes so i hope everybody out there starts buying tablets or smartphones or something and they can just carry their books around with them like i do I will go more into this in my other videos. This was just a brief update of my playing experience, and I hope you found it entertaining. Uh, until next time, bye.